discuss today? Yes, you should try. You start. We agreed that today you will tell me what will your research be about the topics. You pick topics. Uh, miss, I found like multiple, uh, some multiple topics, but they are uh, somehow scientific. Is it fine? Okay. Yes, it's totally fine. Tell me like what? Uh, I found something called sudden infant death syndrome. It's it happens. It's usually happens when the when the baby it's like suddenly dies. So uh, so it's it's usually because of many like symptoms or or like this, and we have some um, things yeah. you can avoid are like this. And they really? found another topic. So you can write about the symptoms, the causes. Yeah, the, exactly. uh, yes, great. Miss, is it fine if I wrote something that is like, for example, the black hole? It's all about theories. Yes. The whole chapter we took here was about omnivores. It is science and the Frankenstein's and the cat which is also science. Yes, but the black hole, it's somehow theories more than facts. Is okay, it you present it. You present it. It is great, dear. Okay. Other girls? Uh, I'm writing about intersectional feminism. Oh, feminism. Great. Celebrating Women's Day. Great. Uh, who else? Only Sarah and Rima? Great then. Um, must we still we didn't think about that. Listen, okay. Listen. Okay, I'll share uh, for you first. Uh, wait a minute. I scanned the book. I, I, I wish that it will be clear. Here is it. Uh, we discussed it previous time. We discussed the uh, with the purpose, the audience, the topics, how to choose the topic, the inquiry and writing process, the evalu evaluate sources, how we evaluate sources. So open your book, girls, 495, 496. Open your book. And then we'll start at conduct research. Uh, it will not be as clear as you think, but we are trying to conduct research. Okay. Open the page again. Yes, it is 496. Thank you. Welcome, dear. Okay, 496. Open. Ragat, read Ragat, please. Yes, miss. from conduct research. Yes. Uh, choose six to ten sources of information that seem the most relevant to your topic and check them out of the library or bookmark them on your computer. Cut and paste uh, web addresses into a word processing file or note taking program. As you gather sources, make sure to use a variety of types of sources. Next, gather information from your sources. Read articles or web pages completely, marking the text or writing down important facts, uh, statistics, and useful quotations. Uh, in, your, in your response to a journal or on note cards or on your computer, take notes on your sources. As you record information, always write down the source from which the information came. Include the author's name, uh, title of the article or book, website. Yes, please highlight it or underline it. Author's name, title, website, publisher, and date of publication. Continue. And date of publication, you will use this research to cite resources in the, in the text of your paper. You will also need to create, uh, to create a list of all sources used in your paper. At the top of your notes, write a short description of the information. Your notes may be, uh, may be a paraphrase of the information and the source or a direct quotation. It is better to use a direct quotation if the information is very uh, crucial, a uh, crucial, of, uh, or if the information is being explained by an expert. Always place quotation marks around sentences taken directly from a source. Um, this will help you avoid uh, inadvertently uh, plagiarizing a source. Yes, we said that 
plagiarism is a, a crime. You may fail college for this. So in order to avoid plagiarism, you tell the your resource. You say your resource. So after you gather the information from your resources, from your sources, and you read articles on web pages, and you do, you gather uh, statistics, articles, facts, and you list them down and you gather them all, you take notes on your sources as you uh, record information. While you record information, the information you find useful right next to it. Where did you find it? Where did you read it? So when you cite it down, so it will not be called as plagiarism. So at the top of your note, write a short description of the information. Your notes may be a uh, paraphrasing or information uh, in the source of a uh, direct quotation. It is better to use direct quotation huh, if the information is very crucial. You take direct quotation, He's, he said that. And you put it between the two quotation marks in order to avoid plagiarism. So here, here, sample note of direct quotation. Radio quickly became used in warfare. In 1905, the Japanese Navy all but destroyed the Russian fleet at the Battle of uh, Toshima. In part because of radio equipment, the Japanese bought from Marconi. Here, here the description, here, here the quotation between two quotation marks, and there the source information. Here from how radio changed the everything. It is the title of the article, Discover Magazine. It was published in a magazine, June 2007, www.discovermagazinethisn.com. Why we learned this? Not for today, for your come upcoming years, inshallah. This is the MLA format. We will said we will talk about this is the MLA format. An MLA format. Okay, read Lujain, please. In MLA format and text cita citation are included to indicate any information that is not common knowledge. Citations are always included with direct quotations. Usually in an in-text citation is the author's last name and the page number where the information was found in parentheses. Jackson 24. The end punctuation comes after the citation. If you refer to the author's name in your writing, cite only the page number. And if the quotation comes from an online source, no page number is necessary. Yes, so if you take it from a page number, from a book, you, you say the cite the, the, only the page number. So if you refer to the author's name in your writing, if we know the author's name, cite the page. Yani if I quoted from Michael Luther King, I will write about uh, discrimination and this, like my, Martin Luther King said, and I have a dream. So I cite it between two quotation marks, and I write what he said, and I say page four, page five. If it's from the online source, no page number is required. Nice. Yes, dear. After, for example, um, if I wrote, for example, a paragraph, okay, and they took some information from our site, so I write, I write the site like below the the whole paper. Or After you finish it all, if sites like like the MLA format I've just shown you, it is uh, the the site the uh, this will not be in, in the middle of the research. But if I write, if as I said for you, if I am quoting Michael Luther King. Martin Luther King. So I cite it. I, I write. I dream. Uh, I I wait the day that my children are not judged for the color of their uh, skin, but they're for their character, uh, personality. And between two quotation marks, okay? Because I've quoted before in the the in the research. So I will just mention page what, or I say Martin Luther King Jr. So here, sample, sample and text citation with a direct quotation from an online source. It is here from an online source. Soon after, um, uh, it is not so clear for me, Markani, been manufacturing ship to ship radio uh, equipment. It quickly became a tool of the world's navies as Discovery Magazine reports. Here, look, look as Discovery Magazine reports. Is this different than here? Here, he mentioned it. He mentioned it. And then he said it is published in discoverymagazine.com. But here, he, it is in text citation, in the text. So here it is after that, the question that Sarah asked. Here it is after we finish the text, it is how it is cited. But there, if it's in the text citation, if I want to cite it in the middle of the text, I will not write it like that. 
I will not write it like that. I will not, I will not write like this. this uh, publish. No, this after I finish the whole research here, if I want to mention in the middle of the text. So if I want to mention in the middle of the text, it quickly became a tool here. Uh, as uh, Discovery Magazine reports, in 1905, the Japanese Navy all but destroyed the Russian fleet of the Battle of Toshima in part. Uh, Japanese brought from Markani. What is this? I can't. Gagiluta. Maybe this is the um, the source, the the site. This is okay. Okay, so this is MLA format or inside quotation, direct quotation. In text, sorry, in text citation, not inside. In text citation and there the up MLA format after we finish. This is after I finish and there in text citation. So which one should we, should we use? As you want, you can differentiate, use this ones and this ones. Okay, now I organize my ideas. Organize my ideas. I'll start. So, Sarah, please read. Thank you, Lujay. Before you begin writing your paper, take some time to plan the order of your main points. Write a thesis statement that explains the main idea of your paper. Your thesis statement will probably contain cause and effect words such as therefore, as a result, and because. Okay, exactly. uh, stop, wait. If I would write about a cause and effect, if I would write about the uh, my topic is about the reasons of World War II. Okay, so cause, also I will write that killing, uh, the, uh, the murdering of, I don't remember who has been killed uh, of, I don't remember <laughs> who has been killed and that was the reason for World War II. It was like a king or something. Um, therefore, the World War II started or has started. Okay, so this is a statement. It's the most important statement in the whole uh, research because it shows, it draws for me my line. What will I talk exactly about? Okay, example, read. Example thesis statements by enabling the ins the instant transmission of information radio change the way countries communicate. Yes, thank you, then, Sarah. Then yes, continue, Sarah. Uh, create an outline based upon the information from your notes. Your paper should have an introduction, body, and conclusion. Study the following sample outline. First, introduction. A. Introduce the topic. Capture your reader's interest. Use a story or quotation. For example, tell the story of Frank Con Conrad, who made the first AM radio uh, broadcast from his garage in East Pittsburgh. So remember when we were reading the um, Frank Nestein's cat? How did she start it? She started directly that we stop a, modif a genetic modification of the animals. She introduced the topic. She introduced the topic to give a background about the topic. Reasons behind without a uh, World War II, and then we start. No, no, no. Introduce the topic in in a good way that you start talking about wars between countries. Okay, damages that the wars ha make or cause, and then I say, uh, I, I can, he says to you, you can start with a story. So you can start with a story of uh, a Hitler, anything, anyone said that I will control the world or conquer the world. I'll be the first leader or we are the best race in the world. And and then this is the introduction. Introduction, we are used that we hook the eyes of the reader. So we introduce the topic by giving background. I give background, so I introduce it and you have to introduce it with a, a a way to uh, capture his attention, capture his eyes. And then at the end of the uh, introduction. Sarah. Oh, yes, these are statements by enabling the instant transmission. Uh, yeah, by enabling the transcend and transmission information that you change the way countries communicate. Yes, that's why that's why in in uh, in uh, Frankenstein's dilemma we under uh, Frankenstein's dilemma Frankenstein's uh, cat the other one is omnivorous dilemma we underline the main ideas in each paragraph why to show you how can you write your main idea 
for each paragraph. How can you write the thesis statement and how you can write the main idea in each paragraph? So the thesis statement is the last sentence in the introduction. You can you can find it at the beginning or in the middle, but basically we put it in the last two. It will be shown and draws the outline for me. So by enabling the instant transmission of information, instant transmission of information smoothly, I go smoothly, I walk smoothly, radio change the way countries communicate. Thank you, Sarah. Malak Wasim. Number two, the body. How do we write the body? What do we write in the body? Yes, miss. A, explain the in innovation in detail. One, explain the background of the idea. Two, describe how the idea was developed, including where, when, and by whom. B, describe the effects of the idea. One, explain how the idea spread and what impact it had on society, both positively and negative. negatively. Explain what future effects of the idea are likely to occur. Yes, yeah, so he says to you in the body, if you would like to write two uh, bodies only, but I prefer that we write three. Here, he wants you to explain the innovation. If you will write about an invention, explain it now. So I start about innovations, uh, a nice story or uh, a short story or anecdote of a, a, a new invention the thesis statement and the conclusion. If I will talk about the reasons of World War II, so I will start about the background, about the wars and the effect, bad effect of the wars, and then I, I say my main or the thesis statement that the killing, the murder of, uh, I don't remember whom, was the reason, the main reason behind World War II. Or the, the severe punishment on Germany, when they uh, told them to uh, surrender the lands and this and pay the bet for the first world, world war was the main reason. So now I, in the body, I will start to do what? I will start to explain my thesis statement. So I will explain the the, the reason behind the world war one, two, or the innovation in detail. So I will start now to talk about uh, how it was invented, when it was invented, explain the background of the idea, what was the the idea of, of this invention or if it's in the world explain the background of the world and you start to write more details describe how the this invention was developed and maybe like Edison invented the lamp and then how it was developed till now we have many kinds of lightning including where when and who by whom so if we are talking about World War II, it will we will start how it the were a it got worse, okay, where uh, it started, when it started, by whom, st who started it. And then paragraph two, describe the effects of the idea now, because I am a biased author. I do not take a side of any of the uh, sides, so I will describe the effects of the idea, how the idea spread and what impact it had on society, both positively and negatively. So I will present to the positively and negatively of inventing the lab of inventing fireworks because remember when we said that the guns uh, the guns were once uh, fireworks it was you know, it was invented for to enjoy but then it transformed uh, transformed to be uh, in guns powder for guns so positively and negatively and a teacher the world never has a negative side there is nothing in the world guys, that doesn't have a positive and negative side maybe in world war ii after World War II, Europe stopped. Europe decided to stop wars. So yes, the war in World War II has killed more than millions of the youth of uh, European. But after that, Europe stopped having war together because there was one World War One and then World War Two. They stopped it. After that, they stopped it. They said we'll not have wars again with guns and, and, and military equipment. So this is a, a positive side of World War II and the division of the countries and this. Number two, explain what future effects of the idea are likely to occur. So uh, what happens after discovering the internet, the emails, the, but the internet is too broad. So uh, maybe only the lamp, what will occur? What are more ideas maybe now uh, with, we suffer of the, shortage and electricity. So maybe this is a future effect of the idea. Shortage. Shortage will happen of uh, electricity. 
uh, uh, future effects of, of World War II because it, it is historical, uh, so we can talk about its effect and how it affected the world, World War II. What happened in Japan, what happened, okay? And then the conclusion, we reach to the conclusion, Ridi Malak. Yes, miss. Uh, conclusion, A, summarize your main points and re restate your thesis yes, statement. Yes. B, inspire readers to learn more about the topic. Uh, in the conclusion, this is this happens in all essays and also in the research, we summarize. I summarize my main point and restate the thesis statement in different words and then I inspire readers, but I will not say to them, hey, come, read about this. No, 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 inspire it in your own way, but do not talk to the reader. Great 10, do not talk to the reader. Okay? So this is how I write the... Here is it, the introduction, the body, the conclusion. We go to the first draft. Here is it. Here. Thank you, Malak. Uh, we take uh, Natalie. Yes, ma'am. Yes, first the draft, Natalie. Uh, first the draft. Use your outline to write a draft of your research paper. Here are some hands. Refer to your notes while drafting. Write quickly your reverse and pro pro proofread later. If you take a break and then return to drafting, we read what you have written before continuing. This will help you resume the flow of thoughts. Mark the paper draft one. Make sure to include your citations in your draft. So this, I'm writing my first draft. How do I write my first draft? I grab all the notes I've written or I've taken while I, I was reading. And uh, then I do what I refer to, uh, I write quickly. Okay, I bring a book and I write quickly what uh, happens. Okay, uh, why you write quickly? Because you will revise. You will revise and proofread later after that. So uh, if you take a break while writing, if you take a break and then you return to draft again, okay, reread what you've written because you might forget and you rewrite it again. So no, reread what you have written, okay? Reread it. Why you reread it? Uh, maybe you, you discussed this point. Maybe there was a point that needs to be discussed and you didn't, okay? So make sure at the last one, uh, you mark it draft A, and then make sure to include your citation in your draft. Uh-huh. So in the draft, I have to be sure that I included the citation. Read the reflect, Natalie. Yes, yes read the reflect. Which one? Here in the box. I reflect. Be very careful not to copy and, uh, copy and paste directly from other works. This is called black plagiarism. And it's cheating. In fact, many schools use softwares to determine the percentage of paper that is copied from other sources. Place direct quotations and quotation marks. Yes. So here he says to you avoid copying and pasting because schools and universities they have a system to recognize plagiarism, to determine the percentage of the plagiarism in your paper. Thank you, dear. Okay, uh, Kadra, please prepare research format. A research paper that follows MLA format include a separate work cited page. A work cited page lists the publication information for each research source that you quoted, paraphrased, or summarized within the essay. The entires in the list are arranged alphabetically and each uh, entry follows the MLA format for a work cited list. Here are some examples of work cited entires uh, for different type of source. Yes, the uh, MLA format for work cited list. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for a book, a last name, first name, title, a publisher, publication date. For an article in a magazine or newspaper, last name, first name, title, a magazine or a journal title, day, month, year, page, uh, day, month, year, pages. 
for an article in, a, in an online magazine or newspaper, last name, first name, title, magazine or journal title, day, month, year of publication, a, UR, a URL, a access, day, month, year. For a video on a website, title of source, title of uh, container, header, editor, if noted, a publisher, day, month, year of publication, a URL. Okay. This you put in... in, in, in uh, you put it in front of your eyes while you write your research because this is how you list. If it's a video, you write, list it this way. If it's an article, you list it this way. An online magazine, if it's in a magazine, you list it that way. Okay, continue, Kadra. Here is an example of some entries on a work cited page. Notice the use of uh, punctuation and formatting. Work cited. Rudel and uh, Anthony, hello everybody, the down of American radio. Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, 2008. Uh, Cicero Bin Ciceris XM fight to dominate the dashboard of the connected car. The New York Times, to uh, 20 February 2016, NYT, whatever, accessed 13 December 2016. Sure. Yes, so here, what, which one he took from here for a book or for an article or an uh, article online magazine or a video on a website? Which one, girls? Online magazine. Rudel is the last name. Anthony, first name. Hello, everybody. Uh, Tight. The Down of American Radio. Hotel, Mifflin, the year, where, and the year. Okay. This is the so it is online because there is no page. Here, Cesario Ben files to dominate the dashboard of the connected car. The year, the month, the date. The day. Okay. And I think there is another one. So here is it. So while you want to include MLA format, here is it for a book, for an article, for online article, for a video. Remember to use here, girls, R I T E. R I T E. Read Lujain, please. Rujain Red, Layan, Layan Magrabi, read. Yes, it's from the book, dear. It's from here. Where? From here. The RIT, right? Yes, W R I T E, strategy, the right strategy, read, dear. Uh, students may find the right strategy useful. W work from the ideas you develop during the planning component to develop your thesis statement. R, remember to use the writing goals established by the prompt. I, include transition words for each paragraph. T, try to use different kinds of sentences. E, use exciting, interesting. So W for work from the ideas you develop. Remember to use the writing goals. Include transition. Try to use different kinds of sentences. Use exciting, interesting words. Write it, girls, if, it's, if you don't have, because you don't have it in your book. Write it. Write it in any side of your book. Miss, how, okay. many how many pages should we write, Max? Not, any, uh, not more than two or three. Any. Do not write more than that. Uh, Layanne, continue. Prepare research format. That's also from the book, right? Yes. Uh, from your, yes. Uh, remind students that a works cited list is not the same as a bibliography. In a works cited list, a writer lists only the sources cited in the body of the research paper. In a bibliography, a writer lists all of the material consulted, whether or not it has been cited in the text. MLA style requires only a works cited list. Yes. Continue okay. here. The Connect. Read, Leanne. 
Uh, yes, I see it now. Some students may be aware of online sources for assembling work site pages such as easybib.com. If you want students to use this tool model, how to use the site. It can also be used as a source for MLA, Chicago and APA format style if students are required to create a work site page on their own. So you check easybib.com. OK. Yes. It will be used as source of MLA format. Okay. Um, yes, um, right. There's easyweb.com. Yes, dear. Miss, would it be like confusing if you mention all of this, like for the readers? Uh, we can mention it at the end, not the beginning, not in, like, inside the text at the end after I finish, like here. Uh, like there, here. After this, uh, this whole the whole research is it is like a, a a model, an example. But after I finish the whole research, I cite this. Not in not in the middle of the text, dear. You understand me? Who is asking this question? A uh, cadre. Yes, the cadre. After you finish, dear, at the end, it is like a a page for its own, a, a page alone. Okay. Thanks. So, okay. Like after and everything. I'm going to write a small okay. paragraph. Oh, no. Make it in a separate page. Okay, yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay. So, yes, are we supposed, yes dear. Are we supposed to write it for today? Stop your question. You can answer your questions. 